Does luxury matter? Does it really matter if you have something that others do not have? Does it matter if you engage in something, some kind of experience that others do not have? The surprising answer coming up. You may wonder why I asked this question. And I think it's an important question for you to ask. If you are considering buying a luxury product, if you're considering engaging in some kind of luxury outing or experience, does it matter? Certainly if you sell luxury, like if you're a client advisor and you work for a luxury brand, well, you should have a good sense of why luxury matters or if it matters at all. After all, this is what you do day to day. You engage with prospects and clients and you talk about luxury. Let's say you're building a luxury brand. Should you understand whether luxury matters or not? Well, of course, you should realize what you're doing, why you're doing it, and what it's all about. You see, I think it's an important question to ask why someone gravitates to luxury. Have you ever considered that? Have you ever considered why you might gravitate to luxury? You tell me. How do you feel when you're in a luxury car? Or when you're in a luxury hotel room? Or when you are on a luxury vacation? How does that feel to you? When you receive a luxury product, maybe a luxury product in the mail, maybe something you've ordered or something that's come by surprise. How does it feel to you when you open it, when you unpack it, when that box arrives? What does it feel like? Do you feel the anticipation? Do you wonder what's inside? Do you wonder will you like it? Do you wonder will it be all that you've imagined? What goes through your mind and what kind of emotions do you feel? when something that you know is excellent arrives in the mail for you. You know, if you visit the fashion capitals of the world, New York and Paris and Milan and all these beautiful places, um, Chanel recently did a show in Africa. Uh, I think it was the first show in Africa. Um, what you will see are stylish people, beautifully dressed elegantly groomed, um, people that inspire, people that captivate you, people that get your attention. Why is this happening? Why does this matter? Does this matter? You know, I heard at one point, for the first time, someone referring to luxury as making a statement. I hadn't thought about it in that way. And in fact, someone was looking at something I had and they were saying, well, I don't have my statement yet. And 
it really made me think, is luxury only a statement? Is that what it is? Are we making a statement? Are we saying something to the world? Of course, some people are saying something to the world when they purchase luxury, when they show luxury, when they engage in luxury. But that isn't always a factor. Yes, there are some people who are saying, of course, look at me. But not everyone. You see, for some, luxury is a sign of arrival, but it's a sign of a level of achievement. It's a sign of excellence. It's a sign of being excellent and therefore deciding that luxury is something that one wants to have. It can also be a sign of great taste. It can be an appreciation of beauty. It can be a fascination with elegance. It can also be a desire to simply be in the midst of something really beautiful. I think sometimes when you engage in luxury, certainly in my experience growing up, some of the people that I saw with luxury were very cultured, were very worldly. They had a, a sense of expansiveness. It can also be a sign of aspiration for some people. And for some people, luxury is, a, is something that embodies more than just the thing, the product. You can see it in their demeanor. You can see it in their way of communicating. You can see it in their presence. They, they send signals that this is a sign of my alignment with excellence. And of course, in some cases, luxury is very visible. Luxury is on display. But in many cases, luxury is not. In many cases, luxury is just a sign of, uh, or it's something that you know is there, but it's something that is not visible to others. I can remember at times um, driving home in a luxury car and it being a beautiful evening, late at night, and I would just drive a little longer. I would open the sunroof and let the air just blow in. I'd listen to music and I would just be so appreciative of the life I was living, the work that I was doing, the moments I was experiencing, and I would just savor that, take it in. I could care less if anybody saw me. Uh, I wasn't doing it to show anyone. So luxury takes so many forms and people approach it many different ways. Frankly, for many and, and for me, luxury is often a way of rewarding myself. It's a way of saying that I've made a transformation. I've made a, a step. And this step uh, makes me want to get something nice. Wants me, it makes me want to do something nice. Maybe it's a way of opening up. Um, for some people, it's, look, now I can have something better. I can climb the ladder, ladder of luxury. So the question about it mattering is, is it a way of creating yourself or is it a way of expressing yourself? You know, there are undoubtedly superficial approaches to luxury. 
And when I see someone with logos plastered all over them or making a big show of luxury, sometimes I wonder whether this is a way of defining themselves rather than enjoying the luxury. Whether it's a way of telling the world who they are and frankly, whether they're really clear on who they are. You see, many people are coming to terms with their potential and their identity. And while luxury can be a bridge to being a stronger person, confident person, a person that appreciates excellence and beauty, it can also be a crutch. And as I said, my interest is, is in experiencing luxury, enjoying luxury. If you're in luxury, these are very important questions because the psychology of luxury is something that you must understand. And by the way, if you're in the business of selling luxury, you'll want to take advantage of my Luxury Lifestyle Advisor program where we tackle this idea more deeply. I'm going to leave a link below so that you can take a look and understand what it's all about. I want you to understand that luxury is a multifaceted thing. And oftentimes, someone has not come to terms with what luxury is. They think it's a particular brand. Uh, they think it's only certain brands. Or they tack the word luxury onto something without really adding a level of excellence to it, without realizing that something goes with that word luxury. There is a meaning to it. I'll start where I began. Luxury does matter. But it matters most when it is an expression of your excellence. I hope I've given you something to think about. More about luxury on this next video.